Esther, I have one more question. Sure. Um, it's regarding eating meat. If, if we have a celebration and we have guests who request to eat meat instead of vegetarian, is it okay to offer them meat? My son is going to get married very soon, and my in-laws are meat eater. I understand from my future daughter-in-law that the parents uh, would prefer that their guests, their relatives, to be serve meat. For my guests, I will offer only vegetarian. But yes, I don't you like to offer, offer vegetarian, and the other, if they want meat, they offer the meat themselves. Okay, thank you, Master. You stay away from the blood. Keep your hands free of blood. Okay, so all my guests are, are offer only vegetarian. You offer vegetarian, and if anybody want to eat meat, tell them they can bring their own meat. Thank you, Master. The vegetarian diet is so delicious. There are ham, chicken, everything. People just would love to eat it. They don't even know that this is a vegetarian. Remember the story about when I was a householder and married? I offer my uh, neighbors always vegetarian food when they come to my house every weekend. And one time my husband think poor people uh, eat vegetarian all the time, they should eat meat or else they die or something. And then he bought some fish and meat and nobody want to eat it. Because they wanted vegetarian because they loved it more. They say they like a change. So now you can also suggest the same. You say, okay, we eat meat every day already, I'm going to deliver something more exciting, you know, new way of life, new uh, menu and exciting and very colorful, tasty, and you try all together one day and then see if you like it or not. And if you don't like it, well, the meat is waiting for you in your fridge when you go home anyway. And after all that, if they still don't want it, they can bring their own meat, okay? Okay. Marriage is very important. It's a once in a lifetime of a person. In the Buddhist Sutra, in the uh, Sutra of the Earth Store Bodhisattva, the Earth Store Bodhisattva say that if when uh, the mother delivers babies, and when you're married or anything like that, people are always uh, killing animals to celebrate. That harm the couples a great deal, and that's harm a mother to be a great deal, as well as a newborn child. It is better always vegetarian. It doesn't incur bad retribution. How can you be so happy, happy day in a marriage day? It's the most joyful day of your life, and you go and murder some other being. You should have let him live. <laughs> he also want to be happy. He should be rejoiced in your marriage and congratulate you in his heart. Why you cut his throat and eat it? It's a joy to be married. It's a joyful day. Everyone should enjoy and be joyful. It's not logical to kill somebody, make a misery, when you are in the most happy day of your life. Okay. And suppose they want, they can bring their own meat. You wash your hand clean of the blood. You have to influence people, not let people influence you. From now, I want all of you to be more strong, in your opinion, stronger in your standpoint in life. You do not do what is not good. And you know killing is not good. You stop it. Stop where you are. Stop on your table. Stop from your house. Do not condone any more murdering. Do not condone any more cruelty. Do not encourage any more suffering to anybody, whether directly or indirectly. Let peace begin with us. All right? Yes. Thank you, Master. It's enough now that we follow all the trends in the society just to look social and look like them. No, we don't want to look like them anymore. We want them to look like us because our way is nobler. It's correct, it's compassionate, it's loving, and it's saving lives, and it will save the planet. Yes, Master. i do that. Thank you. Thank you. For your question and your support and your walking the way of love. You have to be strong now because the planet depends on us. The planet depends on you. Our lives on the planet depends on you. Okay? Okay.